all right guys so we have yet another video uh about the reaction to the kyle rittenhouse verdict uh because i mean that's basically all the news guys i mean for the most part is the aftermath of the whole kyle rittenhouse thing because the mainstream liberal media uh they're losing their minds over this okay and uh this reaction from espn about the kyle rittenhouse verdict in my opinion is probably one of the absolute worst that i've seen because first of all they're a sports network talking about kyle rittenhouse in that situation like what does kyle rittenhouse have to do with sports right it has nothing to do with sports whatsoever okay and the fact they're talking about this in the first place guys is it, really gonna prove the whole point of my video right which is that um mainstream liberal media thinks that black people are stupid right and and that there is currently an attempt by the mainstream liberal media to brainwash black americans i i'm, I'm so serious about that right that's the only way that I can put it because that to me is obviously what's going on. The fact that they're out here straight up pushing false narratives, uh, not getting the facts straight, like they're literally not going to get any other facts straight in this video um, and still pushing this stuff as if this is a situation that should affect black Americans and there are black people that are actually buying into this is really embarrassing, right? I'm embarrassed as an American, but I'm also embarrassed as an American that happens to be black because... These people really think that black people are stupid, okay? They really do. And they are trying to play with black people's emotions in order to try to push left-wing propaganda. That's what's happening here, guys. Black Americans are simply being used as pawns for a progressive agenda. And like I tried to tell you guys a thousand times, pro-black simply just means pro-democrat slash pro-progressive. That's what it means. You can't be pro-black, right, if you're not pro-progressive or pro-democrat. That's literally what they want you to think, okay? And this is why they go out of their way to run segments like this on ESPN where a large amount of their audience are young black folks, right, that are watching this network that are going to buy into these lies that they're telling about what happened in this Kyle Rittenhouse situation. But yet they accuse people that watch Fox News of being uninformed. And I can tell you right now, anybody that watches this segment uh regarding the aftermath of the whole Kyle Rittenhouse situation is severely uninformed about what happened but uh, I'm going to go ahead and react to this because again guys I'm going to tell you th this right here may be one of the most embarrassing segments I've ever seen in my life but le let's go ahead and get into it both former players but I we are all black people mm -hmm. and so I wanted to make sure that we created some space for anything that we want to say here before we talk about basketball here we go pushing the narrative that uh black people need a safe space right first of all this what does this have to do with black folks right what does the cow written house thing have to do with black people i i i still haven't figured it out okay the, the mainstream liberal media uh they've now got to the point where they're saying well even though we're defending um two white people that died uh another one had got shot so three white people that got shot in total um well it has something to do with black people because they were marching for black lives, right? As if supporting black lives matter is automatically a, a position that's supposed to be beneficial for black people. And I would argue that it's not, right? Especially if you know and consider all the damage that uh, black lives matter has done to black communities, right? And also the ideology that's coming from the black lives matter movement that is also detrimental to the black community because... Um, essentially, it is trying to push the uh, so-called black matriarchy, right? They're trying to uh, undermine the black man, right? Which, in my opinion, I, I think is 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 bad. Right? I think it's very, very, very bad for black people, right? But they want you to think that if you're pro-black lives matter, then that means that you're pro-black, okay? That's what they want you to think. So they're saying that black people, because we're so soft, we need a safe space to talk about a situation that has nothing to do with with black folks, right? Again, it, it blows my mind. Well, I just, I, I think that the, the scariest part about this, like, you know, so many people talk about not- On ESPN, by the way, a network that is supposed to talk about sports, right? Okay, you can't make this stuff up. Not being surprised. And if you live in America, if you know the history of America, you're not surprised. I think the scariest part about this is that by saying that he is not guilty, they are saying that everything he did was lawful. Well, it was right everything he did was lawful that's the whole point <laughs> okay show me what he did that was unlawful because 
uh, when it comes to the whole gun charge thing, um, that was lawful, right? Uh, uh, apparently, in Wisconsin, you can possess a firearm, right? A, 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 if it's a, a rifle or a shotgun, as long as it's not short barrel if you're underage, right? People may say, oh, it's a technicality, yada, yada, yada. Hey, it is what it is. That doesn't make it unlawful. He technically, legally uh, had possession of that weapon. Right. It, it is what it is. If you don't like the law, then take it up with the law. But don't sit here and try to say what he did was unlawful because it wasn't <laughs> right. And that's the part that worries me. Like you, they were trying to not paint him. He was a kid that took a, a, a gun across state line. Lie. <laughs> right. Another lie. They're trying to say that he was a kid that took a gun across state lines and see the mainstream liberal media. They keep saying this. They keep saying this over and over and over again because, one, again, this is this is an attempt to brainwash people, guys. I'm telling you. We're, we're literally seeing half the country being brainwashed right in front of our eyes, right? It's happening literally right in front of our eyes. They keep saying this to try to make people focus on that and to take away from the whole self-defense aspect of it, right? They're trying to make him seem like the, the, the offender here, right? He's the one that started all of this, okay? Not the people that tried to beat him with a skateboard, or that pointed a gun at him, or that tried to attack him, right? Not those folks. He was the aggressor because he allegedly <laughs> traveled across state lines with a gun, which is not even true. The gun was already in the Kenosha area at his friend's house, right? In the basement. Because his friend had bought a gun for him because Kyle was too uh, young to actually purchase the gun. And an agreement was that they weren't going to actually give Kyle the gun until he turned 18. Right. However, because of this, you know, how it works in Wisconsin, um, he still legally could p possess the gun, but he did not travel across state lines with a gun. Right. His mom also did not drive him across state lines. He drove himself. And it was the day before the shooting. Right. The day before what happened, he drove to Kenosha because he works there. Right. And they're trying to make it seem like this man drove a, a long distance. Right. The dude went like 20 miles. He already had a job there, right? He visited there all the time. It's right in the same area. Again, the mainstream media leaves out these details because they don't want you to know these details. They simply want you to think about white man grabbed a gun, <laughs> drove across state lines to kill people when that's literally not <laughs> what happened, right? But see, they say that the mainstream uh, news, they're supposed to be able to just tell you facts. And I can tell you right now, that's just not true. Based off what we've seen and the media coverage we've seen before and after the trial, because they're not even letting up on these false narratives, um, the mainstream media can just flat out lie to you. They do not have to give you facts, right? They do not have to give you facts. And went and did what he did. And they are saying that that is lawful. So to me... Well, what did he do, right? You, you see how he doesn't actually define what he did, right? What did he do? He acted in self-defense. OK, it'd be great if Richard Jefferson can give some details about what he did. But to say, well, he drove across state lines to do what he did. Right. Again, this, this is how you brainwash people that don't know anything about what actually happened. They don't read and don't actually pay attention. You don't go into details. You be very vague about what actually happened so that people think that Kyle Rittenhouse is in the wrong and, and that justice wasn't served. Right. This is how it works. You're seeing it happen right before our eyes. This is ESPN. Who do you think they're targeting? They're targeting young black people with this. That just makes it, you know, even that more concerning that these acts are being proven that like, hey, if this is what you want to do and you want to go into a crowd and you want to do this, then, you know. A do what, Richard? <laughs> right. Again, go into details. Judge can or a judge and a jury can find you not guilty, and I think that just makes the tension in these situations even worse. Oh my Her God! <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I'm just with all the other players. I'm not. I'm not surprised. I mean, you know what we have been going through is just. Well, who been going through, bro? Speak for yourself, dog. You've been an NBA player. You're probably worth twenty, thirty, forty million dollars, right? And you're working for ESPN as a commentator, not because you studied as a journalist, not because you've done this for a long time, simply because you played in the NBA. So what are you talking about what we have been through, right? What have you been through, perk, okay? You, you're a millionaire. So is Richard Jefferson. And probably that host, she's probably making six figures. So you got uh, three Americans, three black Americans, 
in the top 1% in this country, working at a network like ESPN, sitting up here acting like they're hurt and victimized by a situation that has absolutely nothing to do with black people whatsoever. Again, brainwashing right in front of your face, man. I'm telling you. It's just mind boggling to me. And it's very disturbing that, you know, it's not just a gun, right? We're talking about an AK, something that... <laughs> Not an AK-47. This man has no clue. He has no clue what happened whatsoever. It was not an AK-47, right? It was a Smith & Wesson AR-style semi-automatic rifle. That's what it was. It wasn't even an AK-47. So they got the, the fact that uh, they said he drove across state lines with a weapon. Not true, right? Then they say he had AK-47. Not true, right? Again, this is mainstream media, guys. <laughs> Again, saying this just flat out making false statements on tv right again these are people where they you have a research department behind you right there's no excuse to get these facts wrong there's none okay it is very visible that you know you have intense or whatever the case may be and i just to be honest i really don't want to say the wrong thing because i don't want to lose my job so i'm gonna leave it at that bro you're not gonna lose your job you, you just went out here and just flat out stated that the man had a weapon that he didn't have, right? If you, you, and you have a research department behind you. Um, if you don't lose your job over that, there ain't nothing that's going to make you lose your job because you're flat out pushing false propaganda, right? So don't sit here and try to act like you're in danger of losing your job. The only way you can lose your job is if you come over here and say, you know what, Kyle Rittenhouse is acting in self-defense, right? And that there's a witch hunt going after this man, uh, and this has nothing to do with race. If you come up here and you tell the truth, that's the only way you can lose your job, right? Pushing the narrative that the mainstream liberal media wants you to push, right? That this man is some type of white supremacist, okay? Uh, that ain't gonna get you fired, right? That's not gonna get you fired. Telling the truth will get you fired on mainstream media. I just want to say one thing, um, and I'm going to borrow it from MacArthur fellow Jacqueline Woodson. And she said, I'm heartbroken but I'm not stunned. I'm angry, not irrational. I'm not stunned either, right? I'm not stunned either because uh, people get off on self-defense all the time, right? It was obviously self-defense, right? So if you actually paid attention to the video, right? At least a little bit of the trial, okay? You didn't have to watch the whole thing, just a little bit. You would know it was obviously self-defense. So again, any educated person that actually understands just a little bit of the details, uh, wouldn't be surprised either okay and, and not for the reason that these people are trying to uh say that, that you shouldn't be surprised i'm done but not stopping and that to me encapsulates so very well what so many people are feeling today so take care of those around you the only people that's feeling this way are people that are uninformed that literally know nothing about this which is probably a, a good amount of people it's more people than we think which, again, tells you the failures of our mainstream uh, media, right? How, their job is not to educate people. Their job is simply to keep you outraged and angry. They're not even trying to educate you, right? Check in and ask how folks are doing. This is something that is a culmination of so many things, especially in black America. What does this have to do with black America? And there's not really much more that can be said. There's nothing that can be said that makes us any better. More NBA Today coming up after the... <laughs> Bro, this might be one of the most embarrassing segments I've ever seen in my life. Like, I don't understand, like, what does this have to do with black people? I don't understand. But, you know, I, I, know, I do understand. They know, all three of them know, that this has nothing to do with black people. All three of them know that this was the right outcome. They're doing their jobs because they're simply actors right their job is to go on tv and act like there was some type of injustice that occurred here because of the outcome of this trial and to get you mad and upset and their target audience is literally young black people right that's their target audience and and this is what i try to tell you guys where you know the democrat party they literally thrive off of ignorance right they want to keep their voters ignorant they want to keep black people ignorant they want to keep america ignorant Right. Because if you actually were educated, right, if you actually uh, knew what actually happened, then you can't push this type of propaganda. And, and this is why I try to tell people, man, you know, if, if you're black in this country and this right here is not waking you up, I don't know what will. 
Because you can look at all the facts and evidence yourself and see what happened. And you can literally watch the mainstream media tell you that what you saw is not what you saw, right? The three white people that were shot, two of them killed, they were all black, right? Two black people were killed. That, that's what the mainstream media tried to tell you, right? The mainstream media will try to tell you he drove across state lines with a weapon, right? And in the testimony of the trial, that, that's not what happened. They'll tell you literally the exact opposite of reality and, help, and expect you to believe it. And the sad reality is, is that people do believe it. And this is why you got people riding protests in the street right now and are upset over this because they've been brainwashed, right? And it's being done on purpose, guys. But hey, you know, this is why I have my channel, right? This is why I do what I do is to fight back against this because these people's jobs are not to educate you guys. It's not to keep you informed. It is simply to get you emotional. And they think that black people in America are the most emotional folks because for a lot of because a lot of times we are the most emotional. They know that and they prey on that. And I pray to God that this is something that black people wake up to in this country because th this right here is, I'm telling you, they, they think that we're stupid and it's embarrassing and it's offensive that ESPN would even run a segment like this thinking they can convince anybody <laughs> that what they're saying is anything more than propaganda. But let me know what you guys think. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.